for this work, there's no substitute but to go out there and keep going out there. Otherwise, you will not learn what you need to learn about these animals where they live. My name is Richard Sears. I'm the president of Mingan Island Cetacean Study. I've been doing this for 40 years. My first blue whale was in Moise Bay in 76. I just was blown away by how big it was. The reason why Richard built a station is here, or in Long Point, is because that's the majority of the whales are here during the summer. So Gaspé is a good spot in the beginning and the end, but July, August, the prime feeding period, the, the mass of the animals is here. The problem is that they live their interesting part of their lives underwater. We hardly get to see what's important, so we're, we're dealing with sort of an iceberg look. You know, we, we see them at the surface, we can identify them, which, and we can take biopsies, which gives us all kinds of information, but in particular the sex of the individual, so those are vital parameters to know and it's really through the individuals that you start learning about the species to develop a portrait of what their natural history is. You know, it takes a lot of time. The biggest asset would be the, the, you know, the long-term data set, but then it's also the people that, that work here and that keep it going, I think. That goes hand in hand. You can't really separate one from the other. Mm -hmm.